What's up everyone? Thanks for joining me again this week. Today's video is gonna be a little different because I want to actually talk about a training class that I had the opportunity to take last week. So I love taking training when it's available, whether it's you know free SQL Saturday training or attending some kind of conference, or in this case, um, taking Brent Ozar's Master Index Tuning class online. So today I kind of want to just talk about that class, what my biggest takeaways from my learnings from it were, and kind of how the whole experience was. Before I even get to that, I have to admit I was a little concerned about taking an online training class because I've given online presentations before and they're a little tough, right? Because you're missing that audience interaction, question and answer, things like that. And so going into the class, I was like, oh man, you know, am I gonna be able to ask those kinds of questions that I normally enjoy asking? Will I be able to stay focused? Where, you know, if I'm on my computer, I'm always like two clicks away from watching cat videos on YouTube. I have to say though, none of that was a problem. And so the reason why that wasn't a problem was really two big things that really stuck out for me in Brent's class. Um, one was just the labs that he had us do. So what made these labs really cool was normally when you go to a training or some kind of conference event or something, you have a speaker and they educate you about a topic and then you, you know, scribble your notes as fast as you can and you hope you remember everything. And then you especially hope you remember when you get back to the office and you try to replicate, you know, those things that you learned. In this class though, it was really cool because Brent set us up with these Azure SQL Server VMs and they basically did, I think they did a really good job of reproducing real world server troubleshooting scenarios, um, just with poor index performance, with, you know, waiting and blocking. And it basically, you know, there's still that instruction with slides, here's how you learn, here are these techniques, um, you know, here's the in-depth explanations of how these things work and how you troubleshoot them. But then you had a lab to do where you actually went ahead and applied all those things you just learned, so they're still fresh in your head. Um, and that was just, I mean, that was an awesome experience. Uh, I wish every class I ever went to could do that. I understand why they don't do it, because all of the setup involved is a huge amount of work, I'm sure. But I have to say, as an attendee, it was a great experience. And as you're doing the labs, you kind of get one-on-one -on -one feedback inside a Slack channel. Uh, that Brent set up and that kind of addressed my second concern about it being kind of a one-way conversation because it's online. So you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one interaction uh, both with the labs like you have to submit your code for review like you would you know normally at your job to a manager or to some review team. Um, so you got feedback on your code and that was really cool uh, but it was also really cool because you got to see other people's solutions to these problems right the problems that Brent gives you in these classes, they're not like straightforward, just, you know, fix this implicit conversion and there's one right answer. To almost every uh, scenario that he set up, there's probably five or six pretty good ways of solving it. Um, and so I definitely, I could always figure out like one way to solve a problem, but then I would see other people's responses in the Slack channel of how they solved it. So it was just an interesting way to see other people's work. Um, and in other training events, you don't really get to see that because it's not like you can really, you know, spy over everyone's shoulder to look at their computer screens if they are running a lab or something like that on their own laptops. Um, here, because everyone was posting their code in one, you know, chat window, it's really easy to kind of copy and paste it and run it for yourself and see how it compares to your own solution. So I thought that was really cool too. So definitely my concerns about, you know, this being an online course weren't a problem at all. The class was awesome. It was three days of just super practical instruction in labs. I really enjoyed it. Uh, my biggest takeaway, right, so from the whole class, and this, this almost seems a little simple, but it had a huge effect on me, um, is just that the idea of you need to really prioritize your problems. During class, Brent made us really cognizant of you know, here's your server here, it's in terrible shape. You wanna prioritize kind of how you fix problems so that you get your biggest bang for the buck. Um, you don't wanna spend all your time tuning one query when you can perhaps, you know, drop duplicate indexes that'll improve performance of your whole server potentially. And I know it might sound obvious to prioritize, you know, solving the easiest problems first to get them out of the way. Uh, but I was definitely tempted a lot of the time like, oh, the server's blowing up, here's a query that's, you know, causing problems, let me focus on this one query. Instead of looking at the server holistically and trying to maybe, 
you know, get rid of bad indexes first, which will not only potentially help one query, but can help, you know, solve a lot of other problems that are going on on your server as well. And so even though it wasn't like a SQL specific technique necessarily, I mean, there were plenty of other things in the class that were, you know, specific uh, advanced edge case, you know, problem solving kind of techniques. But this idea of just prioritization of your problems and kind of making the best use of your time really made a big impact on me. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of mini review of the course, as well as kind of what my, my personal biggest takeaway from the course was. If you ever get the opportunity to take Brent's classes, I mean, I, I recommend it. I've only taken this one, this index tuning class. So I don't know what the other ones are like, but I'm guessing they're of the same caliber. This was awesome. And who knows, maybe I'll see you in one of the future classes. So next week, I'll be back with my regularly scheduled programming. Uh, if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button, get notified of new videos every week, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.